Welcome to the Catholic Tutor Podcast. I'm your host, Andrew, coming to you from the Archdiocese of Miami. Join me as we embark on the new evangelization and shine the light of Christ to the digital age. If you want to learn more and go deeper, join my Patreon using the link down below. You'll get access to exclusive content and resources, which are downloadable and an invitation to my private WhatsApp group. I hope to see you there. Now let's get on to today's passage. Mark chapter 2, verses 23 to 28. Celebrating the Lord of the Sabbath. As Jesus was passing through a field of grain on the Sabbath, his disciples began to make a path while picking the heads of grain. At this the Pharisees said to him, Look, why are they doing what is unlawful on the Sabbath? He said to them, Have you never read what David did when he was in need, and he and his companions were hungry? How he went into the house of God when Abiathar Abiathar was high priest, and ate the bread of offering that only the priests could lawfully eat, and shared it with his companions? Then he said to them, The Sabbath was made for men, not for man for the Sabbath. That is why the Son of Man is Lord even of the Sabbath. Heavenly Father, as we open your word of sacred scriptures, we come before you in humility and reverence. We acknowledge that your word is a source of wisdom, truth, and divine guidance. Grant us, O Lord, the gift of your Holy Spirit to enlighten our minds and open our hearts as we seek to understand and interpret the sacred texts before us. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, we pray. Amen. My brothers and sisters, let us journey together into Mark 22, Mark chapter 2, 23 to 28. In this passage, We find our Lord Jesus Christ and his disciples walking through the grain fields on the Sabbath, a seemingly ordinary moment that unveils profound layers of God's truth. As our Savior and his disciples pluck heads of grain to satisfy their hunger, the Pharisees, the guardians of the law, raise their voices in questioning. They, bound by the rigid interpretations of Sabbath observance, find fault in what they perceive as a violation. Jesus responds with words that reverberate through time. Quote, the Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. So the Son of Man is Lord even of the Sabbath. In these profound words, we encounter a key theological principle. The Sabbath, which was instituted by God, serves humanity's well-being and not the other way around. This echoes the Catholic understanding that God's laws are not arbitrary restrictions, but divine gifts intended to guide us toward true flourishing. They're meant as guardrails to empower us to live better lives. Jesus, as the Son of Man, and the Lord of the Sabbath calls us to a deeper relationship with God, one that transcends legalistic observance and resonates with the Catholic theology of mercy, compassion, and understanding. The deeper layers of exegesis invite us to explore the symbolism embedded in this passage. The Sabbath, which is a sacred day of rest, find its ultimate fulfillment in Jesus Christ. Church teaching shows us that we must read the scriptures with a Christocentric lens, understanding that the Old Testament foreshadows the new. And in Christ, the true Sabbath rest is realized. The grain fields become a symbol of God's provision. And the act of plucking grain on the Sabbath 
becomes a sign of the Lord's abundant grace. Now, in the spirit of charity, through the Sabbath rest, we find the pursuit of genuine pleasure and tranquility. We can draw parallels between the true Sabbath rest found in Christ and the profound sense of a human longing and need for fulfillment and serenity that transcends earthly concerns. So it fulfills a very human need and a very human desire to be happy. It is there to make us happy, to help us in our pursuit of happiness. The joy and communion with God, accessible through Christ, resonates with the pursuits of a tranquil and fulfilling life filled with joy in the Holy Spirit. In conclusion, let's embrace the teaching of today's gospel with open hearts. May we recognize Jesus Christ as the Lord of the Sabbath, inviting us to a deeper understanding of God's intentions for our lives. May the richness of God's word guide us in our journey of faith, and may the pursuit of true joy and tranquility lead us to the ultimate source, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. We pray this in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Thank you for joining me. And, it, and tuning in to the Catholic Tutor Podcast, where we explore the teachings of the Catholic Church, embrace God's Word through sacred tr- scripture and tradition, as well as confront the challenges of our modern culture, thereby fulfilling our apostolic mandate. If you like what I'm doing here and you want to support the ministry, click on the Patreon link down below. I hope that you will be able to join. You'll get exclusive content and resources and an invitation to my private WhatsApp group. I hope to see you then. May God bless you and empower you to live a holy life on our way to heaven.